Moving on to other concerns now, more twists into the impeachment controversy of Governor Elechi of Ebony State as hundreds of protesters we hear are currently marching the streets of the capital of Bakiliki in support of the governor. Women and youths are seen carrying placards with inscriptions like no shortcuts to government house and impeachment of governor will not stand. The protesters we hear are said to be from the 13 local government areas of the state. All the anti-impeachment protesters have converged on the government house asking that those behind the impeachment process desist from such action. Last week, 15 lawmakers in the Eboin State House of Assembly moved to remove the incumbent governor, Mr. Martin Zelechi, while nine other members of the house have alleged that uh, their lives are now being threatened for not supporting the motion. Although it is not clear if the impeachment notice have been served on the governor yet, but Mr. Lecce, who has been at the helm of affairs for the seven and a half years past, has been uh, uh, less than two has been less than two months rather to hand over uh, to the next who will be contesting in the elections. Now we're going to join our correspondent in uh, Eboin State, Tokwe Kuti. Tokwe, if you can hear me, what information do you have concerning this upheaval we have this morning? Okay, um, to that talking, um, from the background, I want to believe you can hear the voice of one of the state government um, appointee addressing a large crowd here. This crowd, um, mostly youth and women, as we are told, were drawn from all the certain local governments of the state, protesting against the impeachment on the governor by 15 members of the State House of Assembly. Mm. Um, over 5,000 people are here. They are gathered here at the entrance of the government house, carrying placards with various inscriptions. Some read, no shortcuts to airport in state government house. Mm. Give peace a chance. Enough is enough. Everyone in state is for good luck, Jonathan. Tokwe, what can you tell us about the uh, lawmakers who are, are saying that their lives have been threatened? What have you been able to gather from them? Yeah, come again, please. What have you been able to gather from lawmakers who are fearing that their lives will be threatened if they remain in the state? Okay, um, they're still in Abuja right now, because the last time I spoke to them, I spoke to the Speaker of the Ebony State House of Assembly, um, Honorable Chukuma Omazonko. He said they're still in Abuja. Even the House member, um, Honorable Odefa, that um, raised the motion on the floor of the House, I called him too yesterday. He said they're still in Abuja. They have to leave the state, you know, to due to a uh, uh, threat to their lives. How concerned is the uh, governor about the situation in his state now? Are the security agents doing anything about this upheaval that we're looking at in uh, Ebony State? Okay, presently the governor is not in Ebony State. He's far away in Abuja, the, the, the um, federal capital territory, where he's trying to resolve the issues of the leadership of the party. Then so, the security of um, the state commissioner for police. He has not made any statement, but just this morning, with it, um, during the uh, protest, we we'll, we'll see every presence of um, security operatives all around the, mm. the major streets in the town, in Abaka Liki, the state capital. Mm. Topper, tell me, has anyone, uh, anyone been hurt in this, uh, this upheaval okay, that we're looking at? I've not really gotten a clear picture, but yesterday I was told that... Uh, um, one of the, or well, not, 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 not a PDP member, not, um, he said he's a, he's a Labour Party member. He was killed at, um, at the local government area. But I don't, we, because we, the, the, the police have not spoken. So we can't really say if he's in um, connection with the present issue you know, on ground in the state. We're going to have to leave it at that. Uh, many thanks indeed, Topa Kute, our correspondent in Ebony State.